What's up guys, this is Ken from Tech Open back again with another video, this time to show you another cool product packed with features, uh, nice design, and I think you guys are gonna love this, so keep watching this video guys, because you're gonna love this. This is a company called Otan. Uh, they create lighting systems like LED lamps. And this is our most recent product that they've launched. It's the Otan Smart Floor Lamp. Now it's not their first floor lamp, but it is the first one that I've seen that actually has RGB embedded in, into the light, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you like RGB, just like me, I am an RGB addict and I love this. Now it does have RGB, but it's not simple RGB. It is RGB IC. So that means you get a lot more control. Then you also have the top section, which works as a ceiling lamp and you get various uh, color temperatures and levels of brightness. Both the RGB strip as well as the top ceiling lamp work really well. And I can even see this light working as a fill light for anybody doing videos or, you know, photography. It will work pretty well as well. Now this product they are launching via a crowdfunding campaign on Indiegogo. And yeah, I'm definitely supporting this product because it's really cool. When I got this light, my uh, brother-in-law stayed at our home. He came from France and he came into my office and the first reaction to this light was, yo, I want, I want this. Where can I buy one? Order one for me now, I want this. So that kind of gives you an idea of how cool this is. So yeah, let's unbox this and check it out. So you can see the light here on the front part of the box. You have this stem, you have the base, which I believe is what makes this box so heavy. It's very heavy, the box. You have the top light, which points up to your ceiling. Uh, you can tilt this though. You can see the remote here, which has the on off button. You have mode buttons, RGB control. Uh, you can press this button to set uh, music mode. Uh, and then there's dimming and all that. We'll look at that later on. Uh, you can see you have warm and cold light, lower and higher color temperature, 3000 lumens of light intensity. You have output voltage that is 24 volts. It comes with a power brick to power this. Uh, dimming range goes from five to 100%. Anything under 5% is off basically. Be careful, you cannot use this outdoors. This is made for indoor use only. I think the build quality is pretty good. You just, you just can't use it outside, guys. Can't get wet. Oton claims over 22 years of use. If you're using this about three hours a day, so the only way to actually prove that is if you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in 22 years, guys. And you can, you can confirm if it does not <laughs> work or not. You can see here, color temperature, 2700 Kelvin up to 6500, which is a cooler color temperature, 30 Watts power uh, with that. And then the LED strip is 15 Watts, but they both get really bright, more than bright enough, guys. So here you get these four sections, which are for the stem section of the light. Then we have the actual light, which points you know, to your ceiling, it points upwards. You can tilt this from one side to another, but we'll look at that later on. Uh, you can also see the connecting cables for the light. So you have this one is for the main light, I believe, and this one is probably for the RGB, most likely. Um, and then you also have this diffuser here on the top, which is, has this matte white finish. So you get a very nice diffused light. We're gonna test that also. So here you can also see, this is the actual RGB strip. So it doesn't come pre-installed in those bars right there. You actually, you ha you actually have to attach this uh, yourself. So you're gonna connect those bars one to each other, like a puzzle basically. And then you're gonna add this uh, LED strip. And then you have to connect this little plug right here onto that plug that I showed you on the light. And that's pretty much how it works, guys. You have to, set this all up yourself. Okay, so you get the uh, charging brick, 24 volts DC. You can see the connector here. Then you have this little piece right here. I believe it's connect to the base, I guess. And then you also get the remote control, battery powered. I think it's AAA, this, these batteries. Comes with these little screws to set this up. And then here on this bottom section, you're gonna get the base, which is the heaviest part of the light. And it's pretty heavy. You have this little tab to thread your wire and then you thread the wire through here, I guess. So power cable would go this way to your um, brick and then you would thread the wire through here then attach that bar right here. So yeah, we're gonna put this all together and see how it looks. So as you can see, there's actually a little hole there. You have to line this hole with that one. Sorry for the focus guys. You can see you line that right there and you just bolt that in. And then you have another one here, which is for this screw. And then the next one is for this one and so on. OK, 
Okay, here's the uh, lead strip. It has a rubberized texture to this. It feels rubbery. It's kind of flexible. So initially I thought the best way would be to slide this into the channel, but no, the best way is actually to pop this in like this, okay? So don't slide it in, actually pop it in. Okay guys, so now you'll see that in order to control this, I can uh, power this on or off, on, off. This off button you would press for five seconds to enter pairing mode. You can see it starts blinking. See that? So that means it's in pairing mode, okay? Now, I'm gonna cancel that because it's already paired. So with this button, you can change the color mode of the RGB strip from solid to dynamic. And here you can have all those 14 different modes set up and you can scroll through them like this. Okay. You can see that all these modes are available. Quite a few. So there's like 14 different um, modes within the, the RGBIC uh, section of the strip. And now in the uh, solid color mode, you can see I have like seven different colors, I believe. Just cycling through all of them. And then you can change the brightness as well. So I think it's at the max right now. If I lower the brightness, you can see I can dim it till it's completely shut off. In order to change the top section color temperature, you would click this button. You can see I'm changing between the different modes. Right. And then to change the brightness of the top section of the light, you would use this. So now it's at max brightness. And here in person, it's pretty bright, guys. The camera is adjusting to the color brightness, so it's lowering the exposure. So that's why it seems darker than it is in person. In person, it's, it's really bright. And you can see I can dim this down as well. Up. To turn it off and on, you use this button right here. Back against color temperature. Can turn off the RGB if you want to as well, right? If you don't want the RGB on, you can have that off. You can power it on, change into dynamic mode, change the modes, quite a few of them. And then if you go into music mode, right? In music mode, you can see it's detecting my voice. So you can see if I clap, let me see if I can show you. Now if I change the mode, I have this one as well. And you can see it's reacting to my voice. I don't have music playing, but you can get an idea of what this looks like. And then the third option is this one. This is the third option. Yeah, that's about it, guys. Yeah, yeah, but this top light gets really bright. And also the LED strip itself, it's, it's pretty bright. There's no complaint with that, you know, at all. So I already have the lights set up on the Smart Life app and um, also connected to my uh, smart home devices. Alexa, turn off ceiling light. Alexa, turn on ceiling light. Alexa, set ceiling light brightness to 10%. So you can see, works really well. Um, Alexa, set RGB to red. Alexa, set RGB to blue. It works really well. Alexa, set ceiling light to max brightness. See, works perfectly fine. The light works really well. And also, like I said, it's really bright. You can see the colors are really intense. And also, I have it here in my living room. You see it works really well for like a corner of your living room. You can tilt the top light to an 85 degree angle. You can have it upright. And then you can also turn this 350 degrees, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. You can't go the whole 360 degrees because of the wiring inside. And like I said, you can use this for your video lighting, your photo lighting as well, a fill light hitting the corner of your wall, it looks even better, of course. I think it's even intended more for that use than actually have it forward facing the lead strip. You wanna have it 
actual corner, you can see the effects here are really, really nice, guys. I think Oton has a winner here. Absolutely, look how cool this looks. This is a really cool light, guys. See how cool this would look in your gaming room, in your cinema room, if you have a movie room where you have like a big screen TV, you know, tap to the sides of your, of your screen, it will look amazing. Really, really nice. So I'm gonna turn on the top light again. And yeah, I'm like, I'm like 10, 15 meters away from the light now and the remote works really well as well. So you can see I'm quite far away from the light. So even, a, even in a big living room, you can, you can easily control this with the remote control. So just for you guys to get an idea, uh, I measure 182 centimeters in terms of height and it's about the height of my head here. And yeah, you can't lower the light. You can't, there's no way to lower it or raise it. You know, you just have this and you can set the angle. You can rotate this around like so, but that's about all you can do with the uh, top section of the light. Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you a little bit with music so you can get an idea of what this looks like with the music effect. Now let's take a look at the app, Smart Life app. So you can see here in the scenes, you have 14 different ones to choose from. You would just click on whatever scene you want and the lights will change accordingly to uh, your, whatever you choose here. You can set this up with Alexa or Google Assistant so you can run this with your voice. You can power it on and off. You can also click on this option which turns on the night light which is the top section of the light and it sets it at a warm color temperature at the least uh, amount of brightness. Here you can choose from the um, entire 16 million colors of the light and set the color at your desired preference. And then here on this section, on this bottom part, you can control the color temperature of the top section of the light. And also, I forgot to mention, you can set the brightness for both the LED strip and also the top section of the light. You can power each one off and on through the app here as well individually so you can configure this any way you want. You can choose for example to set whatever day of the week or weekend that you want to have programmed the mode into so you can have pre-scheduled uh, switching on and off the light. Um, you can turn on the night light here have this programmed as well and you just save that and yeah pretty much easy straightforward to, to figure out. You have a timer here that you can set as well, hours and minutes to your preference. And then you have music mode to start as well. Um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward, easy to work with. I personally prefer the remote with this, but yeah, that's up to you guys. So yeah, guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope it helped you out in making a decision on whether or not this is a product to buy or not. In my opinion, it is. It's one of those top, you know, tier devices that I've brought to the channel, which I believe in. Links will be down below if you want to subscribe to the channel and watch more of this type of content. Guys, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys.